Hi, I'm Ray. Today I'm going to show you how to grow and how to deadhead your foxgloves. So let me show you what we're going to do. So this is the seedlings we're doing. And these were from Wilco 75p. Wildflower and RHS plants for pollinators. We've got the instructions in the back. So we're growing these in the little pot and I've got some multi-purpose compost with a tiny bit of perlite inside. I'm just filling up the tray, firming it down. There we go. And we get our seeds. These are quite tiny. I'm going to scatter over the pot. There we go. The rest can go back inside. Now we're going to scatter over the top with some loose compost. I'm just going to firm it down. I'm going to give it a drop of water. This can go in the greenhouse or a cold frame. And we can expect some seedlings within 21 to 35 days. So when the seedlings are large enough to thin out, thin them out 10, in 10 centimeters, four inches apart in trays, gradually acclimatize to outdoor conditions and transplant 25 centimeters 10 inches apart in the flowering position in September or October. Keep moist weed free and then we get some flowers May to July the following year. So this is the fox glove that we got given to us from May from the allotment site and we had some lovely purple flowers but now the flowers are turning into seed pods so if you want this to self seed we just let these little pods dry off and then they just scatter all around the beds and then we'll reseed So the bees have been swarming around these lovely plants and taking all the lovely pollen from them. But if you don't require your foxglove to reseed, then we need to deadhead it. We follow the stem right down to as low as position as we can and then we make a cut. And we've cut right down the base and now this will no longer be recreating seeds and a possible chance of it reflowering. So 
so we can see on the branch we cut all the little pods so we can see all the little pods that are formed which is making the seed pods so let me know in the comments have you grown any wildflowers and have you grown foxgloves and have you let yours self seed or have you deheaded your flowers let me know in the comments and I look forward to hearing your replies I'm going to leave one of mine to reseed and the other one I've deadheaded and we we'll look forward to nice new seedlings next year when we plant these out September October so if you're new to my channel please subscribe ring that bell get notifications when I post some more so thank you very much Cheers!